Back in again with another video. Hope everybody had a good Monday. I know it's turning out to be a good one for me because I actually went down to the box and got mail. There was actually mail down there. So you know how I always like to start off with the uh, postcards. And this was not a postcard. This was actually a flashcard of some kind. It had a map of US, Canada, Mexico, and Alaska on there. And I sent it off to Valdez, Valdez or Valdez, Alaska. And it got it canceled there. I was going to say signed. Uh, and it uh, got that Alaska stamp there. And, um, and there's that stamp there canceled as well. So uh, my favorite Alaska stamps there. That's really pretty neat to have that one. And like I said, this was just a, an un incomplete uh, deck of cards of some card. This is card number 98. I have a few more of those that I've sent out. Because I was running out of stuff to find. Then I know exactly who this one out of Knoxville, Tennessee, because L.D. Ottinger, or Ottinger, has uh, put his name there in the corner here, so I'll try to save that as an autograph. I'll open this up here. Okay. And I told them to keep an extra, I think, that I have, so sometimes they don't. But uh, maybe they don't read that part of the letter, maybe they already have that card. Maybe they just don't collect, period. So anyway, see what we have here. Okay, well, it looks like I've got extras here, so um, I sent this one for my set, which I'm starting to work on. Took me a while to get around to it, that one. And um, I believe he was a driver uh, for the Detroit Gasket Oldsmobile back in 90 or something like that. This is from 91, and then Detroit Gasket, and I have three of those. So if somebody really wanted one, I could give them one of those. Uh, he was an easy address to find. Um, I think I got it through a sports card forum or something like that, but they're LD Ottinger, so that's really cool. I don't know if he has more than two cards, but that's what I got. This one is a NASA autograph, because, or at least request, because it says Garn right there. And I couldn't believe I did not have him. I really had no idea, no idea. I did not have a mission envelope that he was on, per se, uh, but I did have an envelope that he was part of but wasn't on. He was scheduled to be on the STS-51E launch um, and it is noted that it is scrubbed and from what I know is that after the uh, shuttle tragedy um, um, he, um, uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the future NASA flights were, were scrubbed and so they probably had these all made up for that. I don't know but I got this at a I believe I got this at a stamp show for a couple bucks. Speaking of stamp shows, I think there's one this weekend if I haven't missed it already. Whoops. So Senator Jake Garn, he's oh sorry, I meant to say he was also a senator. I asked him for a business card, but I don't think I see one in there. Um, he also said this was very thoughtful, but Jake is 87, almost, and someone else would value these more. So, um, hope, I guess he's about 90 years old and figured that... Uh, uh, maybe the wife or whoever was taking care of him maybe figured that uh, these stamps were uh, uh, so I'll give them off to another astronaut. There are very few times that the NASA astronauts keep my uh, stamps but I have many duplicates. They're not super rare or valuable. Uh, this one came from Jing, Jing Fang Fang or I think it's JF Stamps on uh, YouTube. I'm sorry, eBay. When you're thinking YouTube is on my brain. And uh, these are my postcards out of DV Daniels, uh, New Jersey and we'll just open up and I'll show you these postcards. They're almost always auction. You just never know what you're going to win or lose. Uh, there was an Oregon postcard I needed for my collection. I got outbid by, a, by five cents, five whole cents. Um, I thought I had put in enough, um, but you just don't know. Um, and it um, takes a little while to get these, but it's well worth it and the shipping is always free. And I worked really hard. I must have put auctions on like 50 postcards and won only like six or something ridiculous. It looks like I have a total of like maybe four here. Wow. For a whole whopping dollar fifteen. I try to uh, bid on as many as I can. This one here is from Longview, Washington. The Nutty Narrows Bridge. And not much of a postcard, is it? And the Nutty Narrows, whatever that is. Maybe it's a little squirrel bridge. I'm not sure. Uh, Nutty Narrows is a... Uh, Oh yeah, it's get to give squirrels protection in crossing the street, first of its kind in the world. So that's kind of neat. I don't remember what I paid for that, but it was not much. This one is McKinley Park, Alaska, and I bought this for obvious reasons. 
I think I paid approximately 50 cents for that. I'm not really sure what. It, maybe it was a quarter. I, I couldn't tell you. Well, yes, I could tell you. Uh, my piece of paper tells me. And the backs are, as you can see, somebody paid 50 cents at one point. The Alaska postcard was... Let's see. The Nutty Narrows postcard was 25 cents. The Moose was 25 cents. I have another one for 34 and 31 cents. So this one here is the Hole in the Wall Glacier. And this is for Alaska. And um, somebody has written right opposite of Taku Lodge. Um, I'll either cover that up or whatever. And um, this is that particular postcard. Glaciers are not going to last long if that's even still there. And this postcard was amazing because uh, somebody uh, bid $2.50 for this one. There's one right now. The places are all over for this. This is Hamasasa Springs, Nature's Own Attraction, off of US 19 in Florida, I believe. And let's see, attraction on US 19, 75 miles of Tampa Bay Area. And I just thought that was a really cool looking postcard from probably the 70s, late 60s, mid 70s, somewhere in that range. A lot of these postcards here, let's see, there's a zip code on there, so yeah, it's pretty recent, relatively recent. Uh, a lot of these things were used up until the 80s or 90s with these older pictures on it. It doesn't really show up that well with the glare on it. I'm trying to get that glare out of there, but there just isn't any way. Maybe that helps a little bit. It's a really dark postcard, I don't know why it's showing so light on the camera. It's because of this back white backdrop here. Uh, so those are the things that I got there. Oh, and I do have one more before I forget. This one I actually did upside down. I said, you know what? Oh well. So this one is out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and I put an extra, I put um, uh, 58 cents on there because I had 229s and I was lazy. Um, I didn't want to use all my zillions of one cent stamps here. I'm out of these really nice envelopes that I found one time uh, down to my last 10 or 15. There's a note here. Maybe. Maybe there's a note. And that's just my letter. And this is from is it a car crew chief, uh, Travis Carter, at a NASCAR. And he signed this one for a set that I'm kind of working on. That's one of the ugliest sets. It's one of the nicer cards at a set. Um, here's one from my 91 Max, Travis Carter. Uh, here is another one from the, that set. The corners get so damaged on that real ugly set. You can see his signature doesn't pop very well on that. It's a really weird, weird uh, yellow and purple card. And then I have two more here. Um, I have this one here from the 9... I think these are 92 and 91 tracks. And there's that. The Jeff Gordon in one of these sets is uh, pretty good to have. And I had three or four of them. Uh, not autographed, mind you, but just anyway. So I almost forgot about poor Travis Carter there. That was neat. I sent him one, two, three, four, five cards. That's always my max, is five. I never try to send five unless, uh, but some of these NASCAR drivers are happy to do that, send, get the five, that way you have them out of the way and you don't have to send them for another couple years or whatever. He probably has another 15 more cards out there. That's like this baseball guy's a one per type deal. It kind of irks you. They do only one sometimes because you want to get all their cards signed. It might take your entire life to get them signed if you're doing, you know, a whole collection of signed cards. But I pretty much have the ones that I wanted and, um, these are the ones I had all in my collection. I didn't have to go out and buy any of those, so that was very, very nice. So hope you enjoyed some of that, and uh, hope you get something in the mail, and thank you for watching.